Hi there guys, um, today I have a little haul for you. Um, it's a mixture of candles that I got uh, a couple of days ago and also I went into my local pound store. I was going in to get bubbles and stuff for my little girl since it's been lovely weather recently just for her to play with outside. Um, and as usual I always take a little sneaky peek at the makeup products in there um, and came across some absolutely fantastic stuff. I'm really really happy with what I got. Um, and for a pound for each of them, who can say no? What I'll do first though is I'm going to start off with the candles that I got. Um, the first ones that I got I'm going to talk about are my uh, pomegranate ones. I got these from Pound Stretchers and they are £1.49 each. So I've got the label stuck to it because it's still in its packaging. Um, and they've got, they just smell absolutely gorgeous and they've got this lovely tiered effect to them. So it's like several different colours of red, like all layered on top of each other. Um, and they've got the, according to the label, they are 32 hour approximate burn time. Um, and they're called the Serenity Candles. So they're just absolutely gorgeous. I already have some of the black cherry ones, which look like this. So they're lovely. I picked these ones up. Mainly I picked one of them up because I've got a purple themed bedroom. Ignore the beige bed cover. The purple ones are in the wash at the moment. Um, but I have a purple themed bedroom so I thought these would look really really cute in my bedroom so I picked one up to use as an ornament and just on a little uh, black candle plate but I loved the smell of it so much when I took it out the wrapping and stuff that the, the, the smell that you get through the top of the candle and um, where the little holes are for you to have a little sniff is nothing compared to when you take it out the wrapping and you put it in your room and it just makes my whole room smells like black cherry at the moment it's absolutely gorgeous um, so I got went back and got a couple more to burn and they smell even better when they're burning. Just absolutely gorgeous, amazing. And I got these little um, candle plates um, from Sainsbury's. They're 91 pence each. So they're absolutely fantastic. And if you do want to use them and then you get all the wax stuck in them and you want to get rid of all that, you can just pop it in the freezer for a couple of hours and it'll just pop straight off. Won't break the glass or anything. So I got those ones. These ones are absolutely fantastic and they just smell amazing. I can't wait to try them. Um, the next ones that I got are little mini samples of the Yankee Candles. Now I love the Yankee Candles. I've had several of them before. Um, I don't want to, I always, I always have this thing where I don't want to buy the full size ones because as you know Yankee Candles can be a little bit more expensive. But there's a news agent just along the road from me and they've got all, they've got the full range of the Yankee Candles. Um, in their shop, well not the full range but they've got a very very wide range of them um, and they've also got all the little sampler sized ones as well and um, so what I tend to do is every so often I'll go in I'll buy a couple of the sample ones um, I'll have a wee sniff see which one's my favourite get the sample um, and get a couple of them and then I'll take them home I'll burn them see what I think and then if I like them I'll go back and buy the full size um, so these ones that I got are the black cherry ones and they just smell absolutely gorgeous. They are amazing. And that's through the wrapper. So I can imagine what it's going to be like when they're out the wrapper and they're burning and stuff. So I'm really excited to try these ones as well. Um, I'm just going to show you what I would use for burning these in. Um, I have these little tea light holders. And they just fit really nicely in there. And I would pop them in there and burn them in that. And I also got these from Sainsbury's as well. These were 50 pence each. I've got four of these. I've got two in my living room um, that sit on either side of my TV and two in my bedroom as well that also sit on either side of my TV in my bedroom, which is behind you guys. Um, so yeah, I've got these guys. Uh, and then moving on to the makeup that I got in um, Poundland. Um, I'm going to show you the good ones. I'll show you from good to excellent first so i'll leave the best for last so the first thing i got is the milani glitter stripes and it just looks like this um, and it's in the color coco it's in the shade coco glimmer so these are glimmer stripes they are face cheek and eye color um, so i'll just let you have a look at that open there sorry there's a bit of glare off my light so absolutely fantastic so you've got this lovely sort of creamy white shade and then different varying tones of goldy bronzy colours. So these can be used singly as eyeshadows so you can create a lovely lovely sort of bronzed eyeshadow look with these or you can use them as a cheek colour um, 
And I think you can use them as a face colour for like a bronzer and stuff like that if you just avoid the white one. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just show you, that's that second colour there. And then there's the, the white, the creamy white. And then I'll just swatch them all together and look at that lovely tone that comes up there. Just absolutely gorgeous. So that's fantastic and for a pound, who could say no as I say. And the next thing that I got was this, it's the Sally Hansen Lip Inflation, it's plumping treatment um, and it's in the colour Sheer Blush um, and it just says, I've got the little card here, I kept it so I could read, you, read it to you, it says instantly plumps lips, a tingly gloss that inflates lips, lips to their maximum fullness and shine and it's got vin ginger, cinnamon and vitamins in it. Um, and on the back it just says how it works. This refreshingly, refreshing tingly lip gloss enhances lips natural colour and shape while adding brilliant shine. The peppermint cools and stimulates lips and the lips become flushed and plump for an instantly sexy pouty look. Um, and vitamins A and E nourish the lips. So it's absolutely, sm smells really really nice and it's this sort of lovely lovely light sort of, I don't know if you can see that with my light. Um, but it's just this lovely sort of light pinky rosy colour, so it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm really looking forward to try this one out, sorry my brass strap's falling down. So I'm really looking forward to uh, trying that one out. The next thing that I got was mainly because I am a fiend for glitter, I love glitter and the one thing that I didn't have was a purple glitter eye eyeliner and purple and pink are my two favourite colours. So obviously I had to have a purple one. So this is Naked Skin GLJB, it's the Eye Groove Eye Line and it is in the colour Rock Chick and it's this lovely purple colour. It came in a little box like this if any of you are wanting to go and purchase it to see if your local uh, pound store has it. I mean it's 5 grams and you need to do a couple of swipes of it to get any decent colour, uh, like any decent payoff but still fantastic. And it's just so pretty. It's lovely. I don't think my camera does the colours justice. Um, but it is really, really, really pretty. And I'm really, really looking forward to trying that one out too. The next thing I got was some Dainty Doll by Nicola Roberts eyeshadows. I got four of them. Um, there's four different colours. So I'll start with the first one. It's number four. And it's, in, it's called Coca Copacabana. And it's this lovely blue colour. Let's cover that up there. Gorgeous. What I'll do is I'll just swatch that for you. Absolutely beautiful. It's lovely aqua blue colour. So I am I love that one. It's gorgeous. And I love the packaging, they're so cute. It's these little but the only thing that annoys me about them is the fact that all it says on the back is number four eyeshadow. It doesn't say the name or anything like that. So if they are in your makeup drawer, the annoying thing is going to be like to see what colour it is. You're going to have to sit and open them all. Um, the, although the boxes on the side do say the name. So I think I might keep these ones in their boxes. So I'll know the name and I'll be able to figure out what colour it is just by seeing the name. The second one I got is called Jungle which I think you can assume is number eight. I think that's what you can assume, like I did when I read Jungle, if I can get it open. <laughs> it's a lovely green and I've just dropped it. Oh no, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> um, and it's a lovely greeny colour. I can get it to open. Um, so it's that colour there. And my camera's not picking it up. It's got a lovely shimmer to it as well. Look at that, look at, the, look at the, the pigmentation of that, like the colour payoff is fantastic. So that was number four, number eight, sorry, Jungle. The next one I got was Lollipops and Roses, which I believe was a pink. It's number seven, yes, it's pink. I need to remember these have got little mirrors on them. So this is lovely pink shade. I'll just swatch that for you as well. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They're all sort of shimmery, I don't think any of them are. Well, the blue, the, the aqua blue is a matte. It's a matte shade. But the other two are like shimmers. Um, and the last one I got 
is called Purple Hills, which you can use your powers of deduction to discover that it is a gorgeous purpley shade. Absolutely lovely. Um, and I'm looking really forward to trying the purple and the pink together. I think they're just going to be absolutely gorgeous together. I think they're going to look amazing. And the final thing I got, which I was incredibly surprised to see, I just about died with excitement when I saw this. Um, as you all know from here, I'm a bit of a nail polish themed. Um, and I actually have this on my nails, but you know, I don't think it's going to show up too well on the camera because I put it on on top of black. Um, so it's a Shatter Polish, and it is by OPI. Um, and it's in the shade, it's in the colour Shatter the Scales. So it's this lovely green, um, it's sort of like a black undertone with green and silver sparkles to it. So the, the polish underneath is black, and then you've got this lovely, these lovely, like, heavy amount of green and silver sparkles through it and it's just absolutely fantastic and when I looked like literally it was up the top it was away hidden in a little corner I looked up and I was like oh behind oh my god there's a behind nail varnish and I just like reached and grabbed it and lit looked through them all and they were all the same color like I was like oh my god why can't they be in different colors so I can get loads but at least I got one, I got an OPI nail varnish in the pound shop. So this is why I've been telling you guys, don't walk past your local pound store when you're walking through your local mall or down your high street or whatever. Go in, have a look. They always have some fantastic little finds for you in the makeup bit. It is insane the things that I have found in there. I honestly can't believe it sometimes. And it just seems to be getting better and better as the year goes on. Um, the beginning of the year it was things like Revlon and stuff like that and now I'm finding Dainty Doll by Nicola Roberts and loads of Sally Hansen stuff's been in there recently like nail varnish and now this lip treatment and now OPI I mean who'd have thought you could who'd have thought you can get OPI in the pound shop so that's all for today guys I'm thinking of doing a little makeup tutorial for you soon and um, I'm also waiting on my glossy box arriving I know I said in my last video that I was going to be stopping doing getting the glossy box but I went away and I had to think about it after I did the video and then I was like can I really unsubscribe from glossy box could I really do that um, and I realized no I can't I would I, I, I wouldn't be able to I'd be like I'd see other people posting videos about what they're getting in their boxes and be like, damn it, why did I unsubscribe? I want that. Um, I, will, I love that little surprise when you get the box delivered to you and you're like, oh, glossy box. Well, I had actually cancelled it, but I, re, I redid it like literally about an hour after I posted that video. Um, anywho, guys, um, I'll talk to you guys soon um, and bye.